Lazar Nikolic will be uh, Red Star's first signing this winter. He will finish this uh, this half season, I should say, uh, at uh, Javor. He scored an exceptional goal yesterday, actually, against Partizan in a match that finished 3-3. Um, a lot of twists and turns in that match, but he did score a really nice goal um, in that match. And there were rumors probably last week that Red Star were very interested in, in signing uh, Lazar Nikolic. And now that he's happening, he is signing with the club on, I guess, four-year, or three-year, sorry, uh, contract until 2025. Like I said, he will finish uh, this half season at Javor, and then he will uh, rejoin Red Star for the start of the second half of the season. So basically what happens in, in Serbian football is uh, there's that break, uh, that winter break where uh, there is no football. And then once he restarts again, probably now with, like, with the way that, it's been since COVID. Maybe it'll start a little bit earlier because um, there is the World Cup and, uh, you know, they could be back in January, but usually they restart in February. So, you know, you could count on him to be a part of the team in February. So basically he started off his career in OFK Beograd, which is where a lot of footballers uh, took their first steps. And from there he went on um, to, I believe, a team in, in, if I'm not mistaken, in Bosnia. And then he went to Spal in Italy and then he joined Javor so what's kind of interesting with him is he's shifted from a right midfielder to a right wing back and now to he's a right back so in essence you could kind of use him in all those positions he's very familiar with them all uh though, though this season he's been predominantly a right back which if you look at the current roster the only real right back that we have is Marko Gobelic and Irakovic has filled in at the position and he's played very well considering he's a center back. Um, but I fully expect Laza Nikolic to, to challenge Gobelic in that, uh, for that right back spot. And I think if he, if he impresses, he will be the, the starter. Restar also has two players, I believe on loan, uh, one at IMT, uh, Belgrad and the other one, I think Grafichar, who is the affiliate. Uh, so they have a player there as well who can kind of challenge for that spot. spot. We'll see about that. Um, one of them is Glišić. I did a, I spoke about him, I think it was last year. So I think we signed Glišić, it was last winter. And I spoke a bit about him joining the club as well. Um, so, you know, with, like I said, with Leza Nikolic, you get a player who can play in different positions. I think he's played left back as well. I looked at some of his on, on transfer market, like, the positions that he's played throughout his career or even this season and it's been five six matches at this at like right back and then four or five at right midfield and then defensive mid left back so he's kind of filled in in all these slots um for Diablo, who is struggling a little bit uh, a lot this season i think the third uh last in the standings um which maybe doesn't mean too much now because there's a playoff and you can you know kind of get back into it but uh, they have struggled and like I said last week we heard rumors about Lazar Nikolic possibly joining Red Star and you know now it's official on a three-year deal um, kind of excited to see you know what he has to offer to, to the team uh, two goals two assists this half season if I'm not mistaken and he has been one of Yavor's better players so looking forward to seeing him in the red and white he was officially you know announced presented today uh, so like I said, he's going to be uh, with the club in that second half of the season and hopefully push for a starting spot. Uh, good to see us trying to get, you know, some of the younger uh, Serbian players in the domestic league to kind of plug into our lineups. Uh, obviously, a lot of work to do, a lot of pressure playing for the for the club. And, you know, I wish him all the best and, and hopefully he makes the most uh, out of uh, this signing.